In 2372, the Terran Rebellion had successfully liberated Terek Nor from the Klingon Cardassian Alliance. In response, the Alliance fielded a fleet of up to four Galar class ships, several birds of prey, and the Regent's flagship, a Negvar class. They were intent on crushing the Rebellion once and for all. With this powerful armada, the fleet set course for Terek Nor. The Battle of Terek Nor would be crucial. There were elements within the galaxy that had been tired of the rule of the Klingon Cardassian Alliance. Before, the Rebellion had been little more than terrorists in the Badlands, doing strikes upon the Klingon Alliance here and there. Now they had been able to take Terek Nor true, but taking one battle station wasn't saying much against a galactic empire. Now the Alliance considered them an actual threat and was sending a fleet. The galaxy would see if they could actually put up a fight. Unknown to the Klingon Cardassian Alliance, the Terran Rebellion had stolen plans from the quote unquote Prime universe and was near completion and construction of a Defiant class warship. The Defiant class would be one of the most powerful ships in the Quadrant. Neither the Alpha nor the Beta Quadrant had encountered the Borg, so the weapons that were devised to destroy the Borg would be the likes of which had not been seen. If completed, the Defiant class ship might destabilize everything. Alliance spies were able to curry back the news that the Defiant was almost ready for combat. Regent Worf ordered that the fleet go to maximum warp to get there quicker, because apparently they hadn't been going at maximum warp before. I guess when you're fighting a rebellion, you want to take your time getting to the base of operations. I mean, you could go faster, but who has the time unless you find out they have a warship that could beat you? I mean, seriously, am I right? In order to buy more time, Captain Julian Bashir and Jedzia Dax would take out the last remaining Rebel Raider and create false warp signatures to make the Klingon Cardassian Alliance believe there was an actual squadron of Raiders attempting to intercept them. The Klingon Cardassian Alliance would deviate from their attack on Terek Nor to go after these Raiders. This would buy valuable hours for the Terran Rebellion to conclude the construction of the ship. Unfortunately, Terran Rebellion engineers would be unable to finish construction. The ISS Defiant was too powerful when brought to full power and would try to rip itself apart. Luckily, O'Brien and Jennifer Sisko would ultimately kidnap Benjamin Sisko under duress. Ah, sorry, sorry. They would recruit. Yeah, recruit. Cisco in finishing construction of the ISS Defiant. The ploy to distract the Klingon Cardassian Alliance wouldn't last long, and the Battle of Terek Nor would already be underway when the ISS Defiant was finally ready for combat. In the first strike for the Defiant, it would come up under Terek Nor and fire its forward batteries on a bird of prey, destroying the bird of prey instantly. As noted before, the technologies of the ISS Defiant were far superior than the Mirror Universe. Terek Nor would keep the Galor and Negvar at bay while the Defiant would continue to destroy birds of prey, interweaving between the pylons of Terek Nor itself. Ultimately, the Negvar would turn its focus from the space station to that of the Defiant. In what Miles Smiley O'Brien would name Pattern Suicide, Captain Sisko would order the Defiant to charge the Negvar and get within point-blank range, hugging the underside of the body. Sisko would take command of the helm, having more experience with the Defiant, and strafe the massive ship in order to ensure that the Negvar could not establish a clear weapons lock. The Defiant would stay within meters of the hull, ducking and weaving, trying desperately not to get hit again. It would inflict severe damage upon the region's flagship. The ISS Defiant would only find itself in peril again when a surviving bird of prey would gain a lock on the ship. They would be saved as Julian Bashir and Jedzia, who had finally circled back from their distraction, would be able to destroy the bird of prey before it could destroy the Defiant. Both the ISS Defiant and Raider would continue to fire upon the Negvar, focusing on the forward shields. They would be near disabling the ship, but unfortunately, Regent Worf would order a full retreat. The Klingon Cardassian Alliance ships would withdraw from the battle. The Klingon Cardassian Alliance would take losses of up to three birds of prey, a Galor class ship, and heavy damage to the Negvar. We don't know the complete damages of the Terran Rebellion, but they were likely minimal, if any. This battle had shown the Terran Rebellion wasn't going to be easily quashed. Bajor, now a strategic area for the Mirror Universe, was in the hands of the Rebellion and would become the hub center for operations against the Alliance. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the Mirror Universe this week and see the possible return of the Terran Empire. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in the ship breakdowns of Mirror Universe Terek Nor, Negvar, and the Bird of Prey, stay tuned. I'll be doing a ship lore series and these will definitely be included. Don't forget to subscribe to me on Twitch and Mixer as I will be doing daily streams there because I, you know, I just want to hang out with you guys. Also, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and guys, I'll see you on the next Lore Reloaded.